Did you know Trader Joe's has apple pies? I didn't, but we're gonna find out how they are today. Hi everyone, Mike here from Mike's Dessert Decision, your source for store-bought dessert reviews. Today we have another installment in our series on apple pies. We're looking at the Trader Joe's apple pie. And I didn't know Trader Joe's had apple pies. I'm not a big Trader Joe's person. I know a lot of people go to Trader Joe's all the time and they love certain things that they carry and they'll swear by how good they are. So maybe the apple pies is one of them, I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't even know they carried apple pies. I couldn't find it online, but I decided to go into the store to see. And sure enough, here we have an apple pie. So we're gonna find out if this is worth the little bit of extra money that it costs um, over the frozen options that I've reviewed so far. Now before we taste the pie and look at the pie, let's go over how we score our desserts here on Mike's Dessert Decision. We score every dessert on a scale of zero to 30, and in the case of pies, we score them from zero to 10 on three different categories. We have appearance, crust, and filling. And then we combine those scores to get the final score on the pie. All right, so here we have the Trader Joe's apple pie. It's a sort of smallish apple pie. It comes in at one pound, 12 ounces. I think it's the smallest one I've reviewed so far, but it's not tiny. I mean, it's sort of average size when you look at the pie. And it cost me $6.99 retail, which is a little bit more than the pies I've reviewed so far, but again, this is not a frozen pie that you bake at home. This is a, a pie that you buy in the store. I don't know if they bake it in the store or how it comes, but you buy it in the store and it's ready to eat as soon as you buy it. So it's, it's more of a fresh pie, it's not a frozen pie. So although it's a little bit more money, I don't think $6.99 is bad for a ready to eat pie. All right, so I'm excited to get into this review. It's always a good day when you get to eat some apple pie. So let's do it. First, we're gonna see how this pie scores on appearance. Now, when you look at the pie as a whole, it's got the fancy lattice top crust, which I think is a nice touch to this pie. It certainly gives it a more upscale look and I think more a homemade look too. Now, when you cut a slice out, it doesn't hold up quite as well, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't disintegrate by any stretch. It holds up fairly well and I think it has a really nice homemade look to it. I really actually like the way this pie looks, particularly just a slice on a plate. It looks like something somebody baked at home and they're serving to you. So given that, I'm gonna score this pie on appearance a six out of 10. Okay, so now we've scored it on appearance and next up is the crust. We're gonna taste just the crust alone first and see how we score it on the crust. Try to get just crust here if I can. I'm gonna try to get a better piece back here. Okay. So what I noticed first about the crust is I taste the seasonings from the pie. I noticed when I opened the pie, there was a pretty strong smell from inside of, you know, cinnamon and I think nutmeg, maybe something else in there too. And I noticed that when I taste the crust, that's the first thing I sort of taste. And even when I got just the crust alone with none of the filling, I still could sort of taste a little bit of that cinnamony, spicy flavor that comes from, from the filling, I assume. But it's the texture of the crust is excellent, I would say. And it's flaky, it's, it's just, it doesn't have a lot of its own flavor, unless they've put the seasoning in the crust, which I don't believe. It's a fairly bland crust. So overall, it's not bad. I think that the texture is more important when the, with the crust than the flavor is. So I'm gonna give this a five out of 10 on the crust. It's a good texture, it's just a bland flavor. So a five out of 10 on the crust. Okay, so we've looked at the appearance and we've tried the crust and we've scored both of those. Now it's time for the best part, which is tasting the filling. 
And first we gotta have a sip of milk. Clear that palate. And we'll try to get this filling and we'll take some of the crust too. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised by the filling. I was concerned, as you know, I'm not a big cinnamon or nutmeg or, or seasoned apple pie guy. I like just the straightforward apple flavors, what I prefer in a pie. However, I know there are those that like a cinnamon flavor or other otherwise in their apple pies. So I was a little concerned because of the, the aroma of this pie gave off, gave off a strongly seasoned smell. So I was kind of concerned, especially after I tried the crust, I was worried it was just gonna be super cinnamony and super spicy, but that's not exactly the case. In fact, it kind of is, is much more mellow than I was expecting. It's a pleasant, it's a pleasant taste to it. I don't mind the seasoning that there is. You do taste cinnamon, you do taste, I think, nutmeg, as well as something else in there that's got a little bit of a, a tiny bit of a bite to it, but again, it's not strong. And what I like about this, this filling as well, you've heard me mention the infamous goop of these frozen pies that I've reviewed so far. This has a tiny bit of it, but it's very minimal. You've got a lot of apples in here. It's packed with apples, and the texture on the apples is excellent. They're cooked just right. They're not too firm. They're not too mushy. So the filling is quite good. I mean, I, I'm happy with the the amount of apples, I'm happy with the flavor, and I'm happy with the texture. There's a tiny bit of the normal goop, but it's very, very minimal compared to what I've seen so far. So with that, I give the filling a seven out of 10. A seven out of 10 on the filling. All right, time to have one last sip of milk. So that's the Trader Joe's pie. It gets a total score of 18 out of 30, and that's my highest rated pie so far. So it's a good pie. I think you'll be very happy with this. If you're willing to spend the extra couple of dollars on this, I mean, $6.99 I think is still quite reasonable, especially for a ready to eat pie from a grocery store. So 18 out of 30 on the Trader Joe's pie. It's a good pie. I can, I can certainly recommend it. All right, so that's the Trader Joe's pie. If you're interested in making your own pie, I definitely suggest you give it a try. It's the better way to go. The only reason I don't make my own pie is because I don't have the time. Otherwise, I'm making my own. And when I do, I use the best pie plate I've been able to find, and that's the one that's linked in the description below. The reason I like it is because it's a large pie plate, and it does a good job of cooking the pie evenly. So if you're gonna give, a, give making your own pie a shot, I suggest you check out that pie plate in the description below and give it a try. It's a great pie plate. And that's all for this installment of Mike's Dessert Decision. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'd think about subscribing and liking this video. And I'll see you in the next dessert review.